Greetings, human spinning mantis here with the final episode of season one of Minecraft Story Mode. This will be episode eight, part one, A Journey's End, question mark. Um, we already know that uh, season two just came out, the first episode. So if you're interested in Minecraft Story Mode, there is a season one and a season two. So go ahead and check it out. This will give us a recap of the overarching story and Previously the last episode. Previously on Minecraft where we find Story AI. Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See? This is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. It's a little lower now. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. Why didn't you say so before? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. All right, I think we've got a decent balance now. With audio. Let's see what's up those stairs. Adventure. Wow, that... That's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? All right. After you. Okay, guys, I'm not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kinda thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? Are there any others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Hey, I'm just glad you're on our side. Old builder or not, you've been pretty cool. Well, thank you, Jesse. I hope I can keep living up to that. Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well... They might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? I'm going to do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, uh. come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Yeah, I do. She saved our lives, Lucas. Only after she put them in danger. If I remember correctly, we saved her just about as much as she saved us. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? 
Time to step through and find out. Mm. Ah, right, let's see what's in there. Very what? I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die. What? <laughs> Okay. Come on now. I'm Well, do we have here? Seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just what in the world did Harper jump us into? Wait, where's Harper? Come with us. Uh, getting very tired of old builders. Hang on. I just realized what this reminds me of. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my kid! Oh. Thanks, buddy. Whoa. Decent teammates. Oops, did face me drop something? That's crazy. <laughs> Jesse, which one? Please, no, Jesse. Jesse. I'll help Petra. Get Ivor quick. <sighs> wow, nice one, Jesse. That was close. <sighs> oh. <gasps> Days of Tim, have we seen such heated play? That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I and think... now you're just trying to be all buddy buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy? Mind controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends mm -hmm. aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <sighs> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Let my friends go. Sorry, sport, but they were eliminated. <laughs> Them's the rules. It's called respawning, champ. 
We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little Ugh. gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking! Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Mm-hmm. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still... I present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? <laughs> Sadly, not exactly valuable. They don't deserve to be here, Adrian. It's interesting. I think they could... What about this? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. <coughs> Harper. <laughs> oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. <laughs> Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You've caught me in a forgiving mood. That's your idea of an offer? Seriously? That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas, and I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that okay. right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, Otto, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, <laughs> want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! 
He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before uh, I could work out all the details. You don't say? Uh, I'm, s really? I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. Alrighty then. You jerk. I think she wanted us to come down here so we could compete for her. I don't know what they're competing for. We used to have competitors from all over. Travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other. Just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Seems like you don't approve. I don't. Believe me, these people would rather be here in the village than working in the mines. <laughs> mm. ah. <laughs> they didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Huh, seems like Hadrian's trying to make sure we all know who's boss. You always did catch on quick. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We have to. Yeah. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. All right, here we are. Face me. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face me. Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face me doesn't block cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face me air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meat's bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. <laughs> hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. <laughs> do you know where my friends are? In the mines! <laughs> and they're not going Sorry anywhere. Sorry about that. Not on face meat, watch. That doesn't make you stand there. Staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. <laughs> you see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat'll think about getting your friends out. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, face meat. Face meat's a good character. I like face meat. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I know. And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> It, um, well, it wasn't very chill. Yeah, I am pretty upset. 
Totally get it, bro. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. It might be a little uncomfortable. Or not. It's cool. Good. They should pay attention. Whoa. Um, I don't know if Tim was that full of himself. <laughs> Seems a little hubristic, don't you think? <laughs> Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shall? No, I mean, seriously. Shall. I mean, anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. <laughs> Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? Yeah. One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. <laughs> yeah, that means Epic bread. loafage. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Yeah. All right, bro. That's the to- that's the dojo. Mojo Jojo Dojo. Wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in extreme spleef. Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most. But not even a third of what Tim was. So, you ever meet Tim? Me? Meet Tim? Oh, I wish. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to it then. Tim. Impressive. Slab. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... It's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah. And this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And Slab, the immovable. Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. Okay. That armor is pretty sweet. Not as sweet as mine, of course. <laughs> All right, it does seem to be. 
a dead end. Talk to the perp team. Excuse me. Psh. Wow, rude. Purple drink. Go and get some purple drink. Let's get some purple get drink. Get lost, tiny. I don't want to talk to you. Hmm. Walking all around the perimeter. Oh, shovel planet. Nice. Nice. My blue team. Wow, they look focused. They must really want to win this thing. Here lies the platform on which Tim stood to win these great games. Hope I'll be standing there soon. All right. You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> oh, forget I asked. Wow, everyone seems to love this Tim guy. All right, chat Petra. Then we'll go to the hey, Jesse. dojo. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep yeah. trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Alrighty. Portal. Aha! Uh -huh. There's our nether portal. Alright. Got to go to the dojo. Sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it too. It smells like poo. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Your stupid teammate killed Lucas. Yeah, I couldn't believe Nell pulled that off either. Don't forget they respawned, duh. Don't cry about it. We were doing what we had to do to win. Until you screwed up everything. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. You haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Unless I win, which I will, you've got guts. I respect that. Just can't wait to see those guts on the arena floor. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with getting home. Yeah, Tim probably doesn't exist. It's just used to keep everybody in line, let them think they can win. Let's punch it. There, that should be enough for a table. All right. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. All right. Bread.
make it so red. Now I should be able to get my friends back. Righty. Um, hello? Hey, face meat, got some bread for you. Bread, huh? <laughs> it's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. <laughs> Nice. Hey, Petra. Nice. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. Seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. <laughs> I'm glad you're with me. Ivor's kind of a loner. Me too. Here! Oh! Quick response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, Check what out are you clothes. Right. Shut up. My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. As long as we stick together, it's gonna be fine. We'll either get the Atlas and go home, or we'll be stuck in the nether together forever. That is not reassuring, Jesse. <laughs> hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> huh, who's that? It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. <laughs> yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really mm -hmm. interesting. You being here. I can feel change in the air. Whatever, as long as you don't cheat. Cheat? Oh, no, 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 no. That would never do. Not as long as I'm around. In fact, I'm going to make it my personal mission to make sure Hadrian plays by the book. That's good. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
But I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Alright, that's going to be a great place to end this episode. I hope you're having some fun if you enjoy... Hello, competitive! Minecraft story mode helps me a lot when you like the video as you watch. Subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and I hope that you join me next time. That's going to be all for now. Spinning Mance out. Namaste.